there hasn't been as much hype for the big update to Android 15 as we've seen in previous new releases. And there are some Google Pixel owners who have upgraded to the latest version and they are just not happy with the result. So today, I want to show you how to downgrade any Google Pixel device from the latest stable version of Android 15 back down to Android 14. Before you can downgrade your device, there are some things that need to be set up ahead of time. For example, your Google Pixel must be bootloader unlocked for Google's Android Flash tool to work. But your phone doesn't have to stay unlocked and you can relock it immediately after downgrading if you'd like. So, in an attempt to prevent this video from being longer than it needs to be, I'll be sure to link to the bootloader unlock guides that I've done for past Google Pixel phones down in the video description below. I can even put those links in the pinned comment here as well, so that it's easy for everyone to find. And since we're going to be using the Android Flash tool to downgrade in this video, you will also need a desktop or laptop PC with Chrome, Opera, or the Edge web browser, as those are the ones that currently support web USB. You will also need to enable developer mode so that you can toggle the USB debugging mode feature on within the hidden developer options menu. And we can gain access to this developer options menu by tapping on the build number option within the about phone section until you see that it has been enabled. You can then find this new menu within the system section of the settings application. You can see that I have Android 15 installed on my Pixel 8 here. The bootloader has already been unlocked and I have set everything up as mentioned in the previous section. Next, I'm going to connect the phone to the PC with a USB cable and then I'm going to bring up the Google Pixel factory images website which I'll be sure to have linked down below as well. When you get to this page, we're going to scroll through this list until you find your supported Google Pixel phone. So as mentioned, I have the Pixel 8. Then you'll see a list of firmware files right in, underneath it. And this lists the oldest firmware at the top. So once you find your section, scroll down to the bottom of it and then you'll see the latest stable version of Android 15. Now if we follow this list back up you'll then see the latest stable version of Android 14 and be sure to skip over the TELUS and Verizon builds unless you bought the phone from that mobile carrier. So this is going to be the build that we're going to install. Once we find it, we're going to click on the flash option next to it. As we get to the Android flash tool, we're going to click on get started. And if you have not installed the latest version of Android's USB driver, you can download that from here. Otherwise, click already install. Then we're going to click on allow ADB access. Once you get to this page, again, make sure you have the USB drivers installed. Make sure you have developer mode enabled with USB debugging mode enabled. Plug the device in and then we're going to click on add new device. In this pop up here, we're going to select the phone that we have connected. And if you get this message here, then you're going to want to copy and paste this command so that you can execute it in a command prompt. Once you have selected your device in this menu here, we have already selected the version of Android 14 here. So there's nothing that we need to change here. 
However, I do recommend that you click on this advanced options tab here. From this option, you can choose to wipe the device, lock the bootloader after the flash has been done, but mainly we want to make sure that the force flash all partitions option is selected. Again, you can choose if you want to relock the bootloader or not, but I'm going to skip that in this video. When you're ready, we're going to click on the blue install build button here. This gives us an overview of what's going to happen. You can see we are flashing the Android 14 build. And we're going to click on confirm. Click on I accept. It's telling us that a factory reset is required, so we can choose to continue or not. Since we are downgrading, we will need to wipe the data. So we're gonna click on yes. And you're gonna see your phone reboot. Now, it's going to download the firmware to our PC. And in the background, it's going to unpack its contents, manually flash the firmware images to our Google Pixel device, one file at a time. And we want to make sure that we aren't touching the cable in any way, nor are we interacting with any of the menus that we see on the phone unless instructed to do so. If you're told to reselect the device, we're going to click on this, reselect our phone, click connect. And again, we're going to wait for the Android Flash tool to download the file and do all of the work for us. After the firmware has been downloaded, you're going to see your Google Pixel reboot a few more times as it flashes various image files to the required partitions. Again, we're just going to leave the phone alone and let the Android Flash tool do everything for us. When it finishes up, you'll see this green install complete message here, and your Google Pixel will reboot one last time. From here, we can go ahead and unplug that USB cable. And after you see this meter fill up to 100%, you'll then be taken to the Android activation screen. I'm gonna go ahead and skip through all of this setup so that we can go straight to the home screen. Once you've gone through all of that, you can check the About Phone section to confirm that you are back to Android 14, just like you wanted. And you should be able to, to stop the Android 15 update from being automatically installed by enabling Developer Mode again, diving into the Developer Options menu, and then looking for the toggle labeled Automatic System Updates and just turn that feature off. So you have now downgraded your Google Pixel from Android 15 back down to Android 14. And let me know if you ran into any issues following this guide. And please remember to like this video while also subscribing to the channel for more Android content like this.